Hello, good day. I am Sir Niljan Abitria and I will be your subject teacher in general mathematics. But before we formally start our lesson, I just want to discuss first our general direction in this kind of learning modality. So here are some important reminders. Refrain from eating during synchronous class. Type in your full name in the chat box for your attendance. Mute your audio if not your turn to speak, but leave your video camera on. Click the raise hand button if you want to speak. Once acknowledged by the teacher, then you can turn your audio on. And here are the following important things to do before we formally start our online class. First, everyone should have an active Google account. Second, access your CS account, change your password, and update your personal information. Third, create a folder under your name in the Google Drive and provide me access to your folder. If you already log in in your account, just click Transactions and then change your password. And by clicking Student Profile, you need to update your personal information. And take note, please provide all the necessary information like addresses and contacts, middle name, present address, father's name, sponsor's name, or guardian's name. And to create a folder in your Google Drive and to provide me access to your folder, here are you going to do. First, log in to your Google account. Then, locate Google Drive from the Google Apps. And by clicking New, just click Folder to create your folder under your name in the Google Drive. Then don't forget to type your full name. Then click Create. And to provide me access to your folder, you just simply right-click your folder and then click the Share button. Or, you can copy the link and then send it to my email. Or you add my email address to share your folder to me. So let's go back to the topic. Our topic for today is about functions. Specifically, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to represent real-life situations using functions, including piecewise functions and solve problems involving functions. I prepared some questions to let me know how much you know about functions and their graph. So are you ready, class? So can you get your notebook and try to answer the following questions? Number one. Which of the following sets of ordered pairs represents a function? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? And number two, what type of correspondence is shown by the diagram below? Is it one-to-one, many-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many? -many? And number three, which of the following correspondence does not show a function? Is it one to one, many to one, one to many, or none of the above. Number four, which of the following groups is not a function? Is it A, B, or C? And number five, by applying the vertical line test, which of the following groups represents a function? Is it A, B, or C? And number six, which of the following is a representation of a set of ordered pairs? Is it A, B, or C? And number seven, what ordered pairs can be generated by the functions y is equal to 3x plus 5? Is it A, B, C, or D? And number eight, consider the set of ordered pairs below. What is the domain of this set? A, B, C, or D? And number 9, if f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 and g of x is equal to 3x squared, what is f plus g of x? Is it A, B, C, or D? And lastly, if f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 and g of x is equal to 3x squared, what is f of g of x? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? 
thank you class 4 cooperation so that is only a review in order for me to know if you can still remember your lessons on your junior high school days so let us review important concepts about relations and functions so when we say relation a relation is any set of ordered pairs the set of all first coordinates is called the domain of the relation and the set of all second coordinates is called the range of the relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs, x and y. And in the other hand, a function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the range by some rule. A function is a set of ordered pairs, x and y such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. Using functional notation, we can write f of x is equal to y, or read as f of x is equal to y. So, paano nga ba natin madidetermine na function or mere relation ang isang problem? So, ito yung mga titingnan natin. First, Every element in the domain is mapped to a single element in the range. And secondly, there is no duplication of the first coordinate in the set of ordered pairs. And the third, the graph of the relation can only be intersected once when a vertical line is drawn anywhere in the graph. Mahalagang malaman natin ang mga bagay na ito para madali nating ma-identify or ma-determine kung function ba or mere relation ang isang problem. Katulad ng mga ito, relations and function can be represented by using ordered pairs, graph, table of values, mapping diagram and rule, or equations. So let us determine which of the following represents functions. So number one, by ordered pairs, letter A. Do you think, is it a relation or a function? Very good. The answer is function because each first coordinate or abscissa is paired with only one second coordinate or ordinate. There is no duplication of abscissa. Okay? So letter B. Do you think, is it a mere relation or a function? Very good. The correct answer is mere relation because the first coordinate 4 is matched to both 0 and negative 3 in the range. There is no duplication in the domain. How about in the table of values? Letter A. Do you think, is it a mere relation or a function? Very good. The correct answer is function. Why? Because this is a many-to-one correspondence inspecting the abscissas in the table. Okay, letter B. Is it a mere relation or a function? Very good. This is a mere relation because this is a one-to-many correspondence. Looking at the table, there is duplication in the domain. The element 1 in X is much to three elements of Y. And let's figure out in mapping diagrams. Letter A, do you think? Is it a mere relation or a function? Very good. The answer is mere relation because this is one element in X is not mapped to Y. How about this? Is it a mere relation or a function? Very good. This is a function because there is no duplication of abscissa or the first element. How about this? Very good. This is a mere relation. The correspondence is one to many as you observe. So let's try in the graph. So is it a function or mere relation? Yes, this is function. How about this? This is not a function. As you observe in the first figure, the vertical line passes the graph at only one point. So it is a function. In the second figure, the vertical line passes graph at two points. Hence, it is not a function. Did you get it? That's all for today's video. I hope you can now really determine a relation from a function, even in their different representation, like ordered pairs, 
table of values, graph, or mapping diagram. Thank you class for listening.